Look at the camera, say hi. <laughs> After nearly two weeks alone in a hospital over a thousand miles away, Majesty Carr can easily express how it feels to be back in Charlotte. Um, I am so happy. I am so happy to be back home. Carr says she was on a friend's trip in Turks and Caicos when she was involved in a serious accident. I just don't remember the accident. I just remember getting in the car prior to the accident and I just woke up in the hospital and everyone was telling me what was going on and I just woke up with like broken limbs and everything. Carr's mother, Carrie McMillan, said hospital staff would not allow Carr to return from Turks and Caicos on a commercial flight due to internal bleeding and that she would have to be medically airlifted back to the United States. After her story aired on WBTV and thanks to viewers at home, the GoFundMe to help Carr raised over $28,000, money that will now go towards her continued medical bills. They told me that it's kind of going to be like the beginning of just getting into the hospital. Um, do CAT scans. I'm going to see a lot of doctors. They're going to see everything that I need, check my body parts out, um, and they'll get to starting surgery to get me back to normal. Carr says she will need surgery to place rods inside of her arm and chin. Although she will be in the hospital a little while longer before she can go home, she shares a message to those who helped make it possible. And I want to thank everyone who sent donations prayers love kind words who's just been genuinely supportive in getting me back home thank you so much because without you guys and without my mom my sister and god i would not have made it home in charlotte erica lunsford wbtv on your side